I've been at CARE for 36 plus years, 29 of those in sports. So when I get a chance to look back, I do it with anticipation and a little bit of hesitation. Tonight, we go back 23 years to a show called The Shaver Sports Extra. It was a fun show for me because it was full of in-depth interviews and long form stories. And a warning, my hair was perfect, but my clothing choices were definitely suspect. You know, I don't think I ever would have gotten into sports broadcasting if it weren't for Randy Shaver because I studied his work and I figured if this guy has a job, there's hope for almost anybody. From Care 11 Sports, it's time for the Randy Shaver Sports Extra. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the show. And you know what? You're just in time. I'm getting ready to walk in here and kick some Wally Ball butt. Are you coming to play or what? Guess it's time to play. For over two years, the Minnesota sports world was our oyster. Every Saturday night at 6.30, we featured everybody from a phenom two-year-old golfer to Minnesota's first ever Mr. Basketball, to friendly llama caddies, to dinner with the Shavers, Alan Wally, hockey royalty, and sadly, no relation. I interviewed the sports newsmakers of the time, like Arnold Palmer, before he built the TPC in Blaine, Kevin McHale, Kevin Garnett, Warren Moon, Tom Lehman, even the voice of the Wolves, Kevin Harlan, who made the jump to national TV, and we did the interview in an airport motel. I am flying from the 1st of November when the season begins through the playoffs almost every day. In fact, I probably can count on two hands. In fact, there's your plane right now. There it goes. I've missed it again. <laughs> wow. How's that for time? Yeah. Perfect. You guys are sharp at Channel 11, aren't you? <laughs> time playing, yeah. sound effects and everything. Bring the drama right to the floor. <laughs> to the late, great Kirby Puckett, a year after he retired and shortly after he personally signed 15,000 baseball cards for Kirby Puckett Weekend. And I don't mind signing for people. I mean, I would have thought by now that being here for 13, 14 years, everybody would have, everybody would have one. one, at least one, you know? <laughs> I know that I signed one for at least everybody, Shay, but I guess I must have left some people out. But every place I go, I mean, I don't mind. I mean, if the time is right and, and it's not a big deal, then of course I sign. No. Everything I'm for, he's against. Everything I'm against, he's for. We also profiled the Hartmans, Sid and Chad. Back then, Chad was a budding play-by-play -play broadcaster for the Timberwolves. And Sid was, well, Sid. The 76-year-old was the most recognizable sports figure in Minnesota. And he still is. Sid is now 99 years old, but still goes to work almost every day. His sports column in the Star Trib is in its 74th year. This is what Chad said about Sid in 1996. I would worry about him if he stopped working. And just last week? Listen, if he ever stopped working, that's when I would worry about him more. Amazing. The two were regulars on the Shaver Sports Extra, giving their opinions on Minnesota's up and down sports scene. We taped their segments from many different locations, but one thing was the same. They rarely agreed. It was fun because part of what I remember is you being the referee at times, and we went at it pretty good. Well, I disagree with Chad on that. I think there's some clubs in the league. Yeah, but you said you said the other night they could get the second or third pick in the lottery for well, Jay. I just want to test you because I've never been right in my life as far as <laughs> oh. you go. I, you know, it's a wonder I've yeah. had any success you know, any time. You can't be better off if you were one of those teams. This team yeah. would get a lot better if you were the general manager. Well, I, was, I did pretty good as a general manager. Yeah, but I you had one of the greatest lines of all time about one of Sid's ties. Oh, what did I say? Chad, what about Sid's tie? Well, you know, he, he likes to shop at a lot of places where you also can get your oil change. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a two for you one know, thing. His you know, time is very busy. It's amazing that I had any success in my life, you know? The banter between the two was priceless, but time, as you might expect, has tamed the teasing. I don't needle him quite as much now. I just, yeah. I don't think it's the time now, as opinionated as, it, as he is. And as fun as the jousting be, he's 99, you know, but can we still needle each other a little bit? For sure. You know, a lot of people want to just rest and relax at that point. Those are two things he doesn't know very well. But yeah, it's, it's pretty unique when you can be in a town 
and I don't know what, 95% know who you are, and they know you by one name. Yeah. While Sid and Chad were usually spot on when it came to analyzing the local sports scene, I struggled at times just spitting out intro. In fact, you have a device that will keep your putter on path. Correct. <laughs> and participating with our sports subjects, which inevitably found its way into the end of the show blooper reel. Rack em up, pool boy. What'd you expect, Tom Cruise? Joe, I'd like you to meet gopher heavyweight wrestler Billy Pierce. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Give me a break. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I just can't take you as a serious actor. I just can't. <laughs> What's ready, Shave? We got people ready to pass out. They need this fat, burnt meat in there. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna either have to go pretty soon here. So, Ron, have you ever gone out in the lake and fished naked? Uh, it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought that was good. Job. There was some, a, something else yeah, going but, on. Oh, well, I thought you were gonna say part time job. <laughs> you know, stick to the script. And 39. This my show, and you know, don't be skating circles around me, okay? I mean, don't go out. Man, this guy's got an ego, and is that his real hair? <laughs> <laughs> you know, people driving by here are gonna think, what the hell? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That's like the, the Thai collects food. <laughs> Just shut up and get up and take care of the camera. Whose parents tried to tell her not to play with sharp. <laughs> Golly, Blake, you're almost there. And this is about as close as I'm ever gonna get. The scoring the game winning goal of mm, no, no. Quarter inch, Randy? Yeah, just the quarter inch, Bond. <laughs> oh, just, just be quiet until Randy starts, okay? And then you can babble. All right. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right. I gotta be at the Wolves game at seven. So. <laughs> Someone's like these shows, the best stuff's off the air. <laughs> I'm not convinced this one's off the air, no. Are you ready to go there, genius? As soon as, as soon as you shut up, we'll start. <laughs> and we'll have a new producer by then. <laughs> Even my boys, super young at the time, made the show. Okay. Is this on? Robbie, how you doing? You smile at the camera, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What my dad's trying to say is mm -hmm. thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. Dad, stop it. I didn't finish. Sorry. From Care 11 Sports, it's time for the Randy Shaver Sports Extra. Oh, that was fun. Oh that is gosh. Ryan. Ryan will be 30 this year. Oh, well, yeah, and of course, Isn't he's here at Care 11, <laughs> and you two are still oh, jousting. Sometimes, just like Chad said, that those were some priceless moments. Oh, I love the so behind-the-scenes stuff of them. Yeah, you can see yeah. the relationship and how much you enjoyed it yeah, and so still do. Yeah, yeah, that so was really fun. fun.